Good morning. It's very early morning on the 28th of August. I can't believe that it's already almost the end of August. There's Skitter and Brudder. They're both ready to go on a walkabout. I think we'll start off the front porch today. Come out, Bob. No. Okay. Alright, so. Here we go. Cone flowers aren't as vibrant as they were, but now the birds are starting to eat on the seeds, see? The Tropicana canna is blooming. Squeaky has woken up from under her plants on the, on the hostaberm. The Pretoria canna is going to bloom, so that's a good one. That's good. That is good. Squeaky. Bob, I guess, is just going to watch us. Listen. So quiet in the morning. That's why I decided to do the walkabout now. So I came home one night from work and I found some artwork on the sidewalk from the lady next door is running a daycare. I'm thinking that's my house. What do you think? There's another house. I'm not sure whose house that is. That's an abstract. I'm not sure if this is a cat. Or a bee. Does that look like that cat? Probably not. Okay. So here's a view down the hosta berm from under the Amor maple. Sculptural maple. We'll look back at the porch again here. Okay. Not near as much rain, although it has not been hot much. Just a few days here and there, which is great. You can see, though, that because of the change in the weather, some of the hostas are getting burned. <clears throat> so losing that big branch off of that arborvitae didn't help anything at all. The birds have been eating on the sunflowers here by the bird feeder. There's Pierce. Hello, Pierce. Mr. Sleek. Okay, let's see here. Generally, by the mid-August, the bleeding hearts have completely died off. That's not happening. This has been an, a different year. They've all been different years lately, but the fact that it's been kind of cool-ish, a lot of rain early, not much lately, but it does seem to rain when it just about gets to be a dire situation. Let's pause here for a moment. So you can take a look at the backyard and the rudbeckia here. Cheerful flowers, aren't they? Yes. Okay, so this is a very yellow time of year with the rudbeckia and everything. <coughs> There's still two frogs. I don't know if we'll see them today. This is a different rudbeckia. This is the one that takes over here. We'll do a little walk around the pond, see if we see a little splash. But the kitties have been outside already, so they may be in the pond. Very possible they're in the pond. Looking at us, but they're very good at being disguised. So fish, fish are chewing on the edge of the water lily there. Okay. We'll turn around. We'll head out to the crazy wild area of the garden. I like that little terracotta moon face. I've had that for a long time. Okay, this is my iron butterfly. That is a caladium that I rescued from Walmart's clearance rack for one dollar. That's a good price for a caladium. So the big old stand of cup plants there, there is not much left on them as far as seeds even. But uh, the goldfinches are trying pretty hard to take care of all the seeds that are left. Oh, yes. Got my hummingbird feeders. There's one under the tree there. The hummingbirds are starting to feed heavier again. So, it's a pretty good sign that it's not summer anymore. I hear them chasing each other around too. Yeah, look down here. 
See all these grapes on the ground? Well, that means the birds have been eating the grapes pretty heavily. They are purpley now. Oh, it's dark under here. You may not be able to see. <laughs> it's early. They are purpley. Smells pretty good under here. Yeah, the birds have been hitting them hard. They've been enjoying them. Um, here's the Tithonia, the one that's tall and blooming. Now, the weird thing about Tithonias is their branches will break because they're heavy. But as long as they are attached by even the tiniest bit, they will turn up and just keep blooming. So isn't that wild? Very much a favorite with the butterflies and the bees. <clears throat> Here's the catnip growing zone. And my Brussels sprouts, which I'm hoping this year will give me some sprouty sprouts. Goldenrod is just about to pop out. All these Rebecca's on the other side here, they got really heavy and they fell. So I thought about sanding them up and then I just said, nah, they'll be fine. There's so many of them anyway, don't you think? I don't think I have any kind of a shortage of Rebecca's at all. Oh, this is spinning Persian primrose here. So since we're out here early, you can see some of the flowers that are open. Um, these open just as you watch them at, at night, though, at dusk, and just pop right open. It's kind of fun, and they have a really pretty vanilla scent. Let's get the spider. Oh, look at you posing in the yard. You Mr. Happy Skitty. I guess so. They're happy that I'm outside walking around. Okay, this back behind the garage area is a mess. A mess, a mess, a mess. Asters are going to start blooming, but they fell down. More coneflower that are done, but the birds are going to love the seeds. I really think that birds like it when things are a mess. More natural. One year when I let the garden just go completely natural, I didn't touch it at all. Let the birds plant all their seeds, whatever they wanted to do. That was the most active garden year I think I've ever had in my yard. There were bees and butterflies and all kinds of wildlife. These morning glories. They've basically been blooming and growing here since I moved into this house 20 years ago. And that's probably a really good place to end this video. So, bye-bye.